Everyone, allow me to present the leader of the Komijul, Song Hui. Wait, you mean she's their leader? Komi Jewel's boss is a woman? You remember all that paper in Mabuchi's warehouse? The plain white paper inside the shipping boxes? Uh, you mean the stuff for steaming food? Yeah, I remember that. It's not for food. It's made with a very special compound. The Liomang import it from the mainland. They're a Chinese import company. Makes sense. The Japanese yen we make here uses the same paper. What? W wait. Do you steal the paper from the Liumang warehouse and make yen with it? Steal us? We don't need to stoop to that. We arranged for it to be brought here. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? The Komijul asked the Yokohama Liomang to procure the paper we needed. It's only stored temporarily in Mabuchi's warehouse. Then someone from the Liomang delivers it to us. Who brings it? And who did you arrange all this with? Oh, it all goes through their boss, Zhao. Zhao knows you use the paper? <sighs> of course. How would we keep it a secret from him? So, the paper in the warehouse gets made into fake yen, not yuan? But then, where does the yuan come from? Is that another part of your business? Or is that the Liu Meng's piece of the action? Nope. It's neither. What? You know, this whole thing was kind of a fluke. One day, one of Mabuchi's men stumbled across a box of strange paper in the warehouse. It just so happened, this particular guy was a former counterfeiter. A light bulb went off in his head, and he told Mabuchi they could use the paper to make fake yuan. Mabuchi gave it a try, and voila, huge profits. So it wasn't even Mabuchi's idea in the first place. <laughs> Far be it from me to criticize others in the trade. But Mabuchi's not as smart as he thinks he is. The point is, almost nobody knows about these fake bills. So you better start explaining why you have one. Uh... Ichiban! Whoa! <sighs> I thought so. This bill is a misprint from our machine. It should have been destroyed. Tell me where you got this. Our surveillance network has been watching you ever since you arrived in this city. That's how we knew you had a fake bill. It's time for you to tell us the whole story behind it. In detail. That's why we brought you here. Look, I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. I don't know shit about that bill. You don't know anything? Not a damn thing. You know I won't hesitate to pull the trigger. I know it. You're a lady who does what needs to be done. I'm glad you recognize that. We've already reviewed every single frame of footage where you make an appearance. It does support your claim that you're clueless about the fake bill. It also showed you were bleeding out from a gunshot wound when you arrived. Is there anything you don't know? Yes, like why you're still here in Ijincho. You don't seem to have an actual goal or much of a purpose. Which I suppose makes sense, given the way you look and behave. Ah, uh, kinda harsh there, don't you think? But the same can't be said about one of you. Isn't that right, Nanba? Hey, well, what's this about? You showed up in Ijincho six months ago. The whole time, you were watching our building from the homeless camp. We saw you. How long did it take you to notice? Not long. But what caught our attention is you never showed interest in your campmates. Until the fake bill. 
He only talked to me because the chief asked him to heal me up, and... But why did he come with you on this journey? Is it the classic nurse in love with a patient story? No, he doesn't have Florence Nightingale syndrome. He's after something. Uh. You knew the fake bill came from Number. us! Number! Don't move. She's not finished. You need to start talking. Who are you? You, Namba. Former nurse. 41 years old. That's not what I'm asking. I'm Shoichi Akiba's older brother. All right? What? Shoichi Akiba? The journalist? Akiba was a pen name. His real name was Shoichi Namba. Hmm. It's all starting to make sense now. What is? What are you all talking about? About six months ago, a journalist heard rumors about our counterfeiting operation. That was Shoichi Akiba. He came here to Ijin Show to investigate, but after just a few days, he disappeared. He disappeared? Don't play dumb! Hmm. <laughs> just before he went MIA, I got a message from him. He told me he was being watched by the Komi Jewel. Now you tell me. Where is my brother? It was back when I saw that weird bill on you that I knew. I knew right off the bat that it was one of the fakes my brother had been chasing before he disappeared. I finally had a clue. So from that moment on, there was no way I was gonna let you out of my sight. I figured you'd eventually tell me how you got it, and I'd get closer to finding my brother. Stupid part is... <sighs> Every time you open your mouth, it became more and more obvious you knew less about it than I did. Pretty crazy, right? I had no idea. <laughs> well, I figured out pretty quick you couldn't tell a lie if you wanted to. And since now I'm sure you don't know anything, not much reason for me to hang around. I was just planning to slip away soon anyway. And I wasn't even gonna tell you guys when I did. I mean... What else am I supposed to do? Namba... I didn't want it to happen this way. I'm sorry, Ichiba. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Nanchan... You bastards. What did you do to my brother? Did you kill him? At least tell me if he's still alive, please. You owe me that much! That's all I'm asking. Then you can do whatever you want with me. But let Ichiban and the others go. I'm willing to die. But you know they aren't involved. Spare them. Please. That takes care of our little rat problem. Hopefully, he'll set a good example. Where do you think you're taking him? You can't just take away my friend. Friend? Didn't you hear a word he just said? He's been lying to you because he thought it would get him closer to us. You call that a friend? I can think of a few better words to describe him. Yeah, good point. Friend isn't exactly the right word for Namba anymore. It's different now. So it's sinking in? The thing is, the only reason I say that is because friend doesn't even begin to describe him. What do you mean? He took care of me when I got dumped here. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have survived the night. I owe my life to Namba, and that's a debt I can never repay him for. 
That guy back there is more than a friend. The only thing I would call him now is a brother! That's why I can totally understand why Namba went as far as he did to find his brother. Nothing about his reasons for lying to us about his real goal was out of self-interest. He did it for his family. So don't you dare. Don't you dare drag him through the mud and pretend like you're any better! <sighs> You didn't forget I was here. Hey, weren't you the one saying you could stop us all by yourself? Shut up! What are you doing? Get us some backup! Time to call your bluff. I'm taking you out! Ichiban, get up! There's more of them coming! Come on, you can do it! All right, jeez, I'm up! Get out of here while you can. We'll hold them off. No, I... No time to argue. Go! What about you guys? We'll figure something out. But if you don't make it, who's gonna find your brother? Aren't you... aren't you mad at me for not telling you about him? I owe you my life, man. Don't you realize? If you'd been honest from the start, I would've helped you anyhow. And we'd have ended up exactly where we are now. The hole's deep in trouble. So we're cool. Ichiban. Thank you. But I can't just leave you all here. That's okay. I'm balls deep in this too. Me too. I'm bald. Well, I share the sentiment. But, Dachi-san, Sacha, you're all sure about this? Shut up. Get going already. All right. Hey, don't let him get away! No more playing chase. How about actually fighting us, Sankui-san? Or are you scared? Little. Hey, calm down. Getting mad will give you stress wrinkles. Yeah. Isn't smooth skin a big thing for chicks like you? All your flirting with the guys will be for nothing if you get all angry now. Oh, you bunch of punks! You need to watch your fucking mouths! <sighs> Fine. You still want to fight, Jungian? Arata. I'm sorry, ma'am. But Namba managed to slip away. Shit. <laughs> Good job, Namba. Quiet. You don't understand what you've done. Sure I do. We saved our friend from getting murdered. What's it to you? If he leaks the secrets of our operation, we'll lose any control we had, and Ijincho will crumble. Crumble? But don't you think you're being a bit dramatic? And if the fake money dries up, wouldn't that cut down on crime? None of you understand. I'm telling you, the city would grind to a halt. We can't allow that to happen. Does that mean you're not giving up on snaring Namba then? Of course not. Until he scales the Great Wall, he's fair game. The Komi Jewel will use every resource at its disposal to find him. Say you actually find him. Then what? We kill him, obviously. You set on that? <laughs> of course. <sighs> well, I guess we're doing this. Doing what? My pals and I will help Namba escape, since you insist on murdering him. I guess we'll just see which side gives up first. This will be exciting. <sighs> You're not funny. I'm not trying to be. I'm serious. Haven't you figured out what kind of guy I am yet? Yeah, a pain in the ass. 
Don't be like that. I know you're head over heels for me. So, can't you just let Namba go? He's not gonna go around spreading your secret. Well, it's not just my secret, so I can't make the decision by myself. But you're the leader of the Komi Jewel. If you just give the word... Kasuga. What? 2 a.m. tonight, Heian Tower in Chinatown. Be there. There's a man I'd like you to meet. Whether Namba lives or dies will be up to him. Who is he? Don't be late. Right on time. But everyone's already inside, waiting for you. Well, we weren't late, so you don't get an apology. And I wasn't expecting one. I just thought I'd let you know. Of course, now you're making them wait further. And who is them, by the way? You'll see. Go in, please. There's no need to worry, Kasuga-san. You have the Jungihan guarantee that no harm will come to you here. Hard to trust the guy who was pointing a gun at me just a few hours ago. Ah, but now we are outside the bounds of the Great Wall of Muscle. That changes things. <sighs> Yo, Kasuga-kun. How you doing? Xiao. And... What's up with the old guy? Watch it. That's Ryuhei Hoshino, the Seiryu clan chairman. What? But if he's here, then that would mean they're... Yeah. The EG-3. All the leaders gathered in the same spot. Kasuga, think you can tell us what the hell is going on here? <sighs> Kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more like you're ready to have a tea party than tear each other's throats out. Usually we meet only once a year, unless there's a need to share information face to face, as we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. Your men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them. Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. Liamang Turf's been raided right up to the perimeter of their base. There's no stopping any of it now. At this point, whoever retreats first will have lost the war. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. So then why are you two here? Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? <laughs> Not the worst idea. What the fuck? People are dying! And meanwhile, you three are just hanging out playing nice? Think your men would approve? Do any of you even care what your own people think? Kasuga, there's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Do you know right now Captain Takabe is Zhao's prisoner? Prisoner. We're treating him more like an uninvited guest. Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't, that's all. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Just let the chips fall where they may? That's how it needs to be. Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure. But only because of the counterfeit Yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Mong brings in the paper. The Komi Jewel prints the bills. But then, the Seiryu clan keeps all the profit? Wait, are you all in this together? Kasuga-kun, calm down, you're jumping to conclusions. Because I'm pissed off right now! First I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. Now I'm here with the Eating Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war! Tell me, why should I calm down? He's got a point. And you, with your damn Seiryu clan, you're the one getting the most out of this! No, because we're not the final destination of the fake Yen. 
That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Yutaka Ogikubo? I saw his name in an article. He's some big shot in the Citizens Liberal Party. All three of you are working together to support him politically? Why? He looked for solutions to stop the bloodshed. Solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which in this case is, yes, fake money. Ogikubo split the roles up evenly. That way, both organizations would have a common goal. The Liumang would import special paper. The Seryu clan would print and transport the money. How did Ogikubo know the counterfeiting process? He didn't at first. But since he had faith in his plan, and a desire for peace, he used every single connection he had to collect the raw materials, plus the recipe. Counterfeiting wasn't that difficult back then. Currency didn't have all the security features it has now. Anytime one of us did something that normally would have landed us in hot water, Okikubo would contain it. He kept it off police reports. That kept us from losing men to the law. So there were plenty of benefits for us, all while we kept our honor. This Ogikubo's a pretty shrewd guy. Nah, he just used some old tricks every politician knows. Oh, well, perhaps. But do you understand now how we benefit from him? Yeah, yeah, I get it. And my people reap those benefits also. In the 80s, the Komi Jewel was saved by the Ijincho Grey Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia, which formed decades ago in Korea. Even only a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. But every time the Jingon Mafia got crushed, some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came. But then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomong. You started fighting them? Not outright. Ogikubo stepped in. Right before a real war erupted. He brought us a proposal that we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could we refuse? So that's the origin story behind the Ijin 3. Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he's supported us in kind. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens Liberal Party. Now, no one in the cabinet can speak against him. After masterminding a way to bring peace to the city, he moved up in the world. Well, there are worse ways to climb the ladder, but I can't condone it. It's still a cover-up. <laughs> really? So you would say even perfect results don't matter if the methods are flawed? What about the police themselves? What about their alliance with all the Yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war Japan? Light and dark joined hands to rebuild, and that's... How we got where we are today. You can't deny the ends justify the means. Your friend Nambakun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our privacy. I assume he began with the fake bills because that was his brother's subject of investigation. But he was reckless, digging through Komi Jewel affairs like a rabid raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the Eugene gene 3 Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself, and we have no idea where he is. We must ensure his permanent silence. Why are you telling us this? You looking to make a deal for his life or something? A deal? Kasuga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> but... I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. What? Huh? You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. But who the hell was it? If you really want to know, 
You'll have to bring Namba to me. Personally. So we done here? You do realize, if word gets out about the counterfeiting, the Great Wall will crumble. And that means the end of the Grey Zone. Yeah, that would suck. For you. Look, the Great Wall keeps the peace with less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with nowhere left to turn. Yeah, man, I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. So see, if we're talking about people who owe their lives to the Grey Zone, you're one of them, Kasuga-kun. Uh, what? After you were shot, the only reason the Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I owe something to the city? Go ahead and act like you're above it all. But you've benefited from our operation as much as any of us. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Before you insist on that, I have something important to say. Yeah, what? We already have assassins hunting Namba. What the hell? Whose assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. That's stepping up in your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kasuga. I don't turn down attractive offers, but don't worry. I told my guys to make it painless. But, uh, my men have gotten a little rough lately. You son of a bitch! Call him off! No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse, Namba will die. But aren't you gonna kill him all the same if we bring him to you? Instead of worrying about that, worry about getting to him first. Your clock's ticking. Hey! Do you know what time it is? Uh, hello to you too. Kume-san, right? Sorry to barge in like this, but I wanted to see if our buddy was here. You... How did you know? Yo, Ichiban. Hey, I knew you'd find a decent place to hide. Hey man, we gotta hurry. The Ejing Three sent Liu Meng assassins after you. The Liu Meng? Not Gomiju? Hmm. Is it just you three? No backup? Just us, sorry to say. I see. And you have business with Nambasan? Yeah. And who are you? I haven't seen you around. <laughs> and here I thought people were watching more TV these days. Oh. I know you. You're the director of Bleach Japan. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on TV. My name is Ogasawara. I'm here lending my support to our Yokohama branch. The Grey Zone in Ijincho is one of the worst in the country. The police have just given up on it. But still, I never expected to find this. Counterfeiting legal currency? <laughs> Atrocious. So Namba spilled the beans, huh? Let's not mess around. You guys need to get out of here, now. We'll even go with you if it'll help you escape. That includes you, Namba. Kasuga, was this your plan all along? <laughs> Why exactly do I need to turn and run? It's not just the Komichu who are involved. The heads of the Seiryu clan and Yokohama Liumang are in on it. They sent the assassins after Namba because he knows their secret. You're screwed if you're here too, civilian or not. Ogasawara-san! I think this guy's bluffing with all the assassin talk. He's just trying to ruffle some feathers. No need to panic. No. I think he's telling the truth. What? To be honest, I thought you might be assassins yourselves. But not once you said it was just you three. That's not Great Wall of Muscle Strength. Um... I don't get it. Aren't assassins supposed to be in small groups? Oh dear, dear Kume-kun. You have so much to learn about these criminals. But ignorance often breeds courage, and that's what I needed in the Eugene Cho arm of Bleach Japan. That's... Mabuchi, why are you here? 
I'll handle this, Director. Thank you. My service is customer satisfaction guaranteed. Then we'll take our leave. Let's go. Hey, Namba, wait! I already told them all about the counterfeit bills. I just want to find my brother. Whether he's alive or otherwise. Um, Ogasawara-san, what about me? Mabuchi. <laughs> Give this simpering piece of human garbage a fitting end. Didn't think this is where I'd finally see your mug. No, of course not. My own boss doesn't know I'm here. That said, I did want to meet you. I haven't been able to give you a message from Nonomiya! Look who finally made an appearance. What the hell is up with that spear thing? Oh, I've seen it before. On a statue of Guan Yu, it's a legendary Chinese woman. So, Mabuchi puts himself on a level with ancient Chinese heroes? If he does, he's in for a rude awakening when I break his little stick! <laughs> what a rush. I forgot how great this can feel. Oh good. You can still talk. Hell? Are you enjoying this, you creep? Are you the one who killed our boss? I am. And I did. I slaughtered him. And hung him like a pig on a hook. Well, to start a fight with the Seiryu clan? <laughs> As they say, I was just following orders. Who told you to pull this kind of shit? The man you just allowed to escape. The director of Bleach Japan. Ogasawara. He's the one who ordered you to kill Nonomiya? Why would he do that? <laughs> because what he's after is Ijincho itself. What's he on about? <clears throat> he wants to expose where Yutaka Ogikubo gets all his money. <sighs> to do that, he had to put just a tiny crack in the Great Wall. <laughs> a crack? You mean Nonomiya's death? I don't get it. Ogasawara ordered a hit so he could get rid of the Grey Zone? <laughs> He's a Bleach Japan guy? I thought they were a bunch of goody two-shoes. My question is, why would you do their bidding, Mabuchi? Why do something that would turn the Ejin 3 against you? <laughs> Ogasawara has bigger, badder friends than the Ejin Fleas. What do you mean? <sighs> the Great Wall. The Aging Three. That's all over. The invasion starts tomorrow. Invasion? My Bleach Japan? No. <laughs> you still don't get it? Come on, Kasuga. What? The backers of Bleach Japan are the Omi Alliance in Kamurocho. Are you shitting me?! I'm going to be Jincho's version of Masumi Arakawa. I'll sell this whole town to the Omi and get rewarded handsomely for it. <laughs> They'll probably make me an officer. It's what I- <laughs> Don't ever compare yourself to Arakawa-san again. <laughs> Ogasawara's gone. He went out an exit further back. Namba? Bleach Japan is gonna blow the lid off the counterfeiting scheme, which will crush the Gomi Jewel. Maybe, just maybe, they'll find my brother too. Nanchan. If only I could have done it myself. No one's ever meant more to me than my brother. Look at the life I've endured to try to find him. Did you see which way Ogasawara went? You really should steer clear of this mess, Ichiban. 
I just want to have some words. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it, man. Hey, you need to just focus on yourself right now. You got assassins after you. Just find somewhere to hide. At least until tomorrow. Mabuchi told us the Omi Alliance is coming tomorrow. They're invading. It'll be chaos. That's your chance to slip away, you get me? Can you do that? I didn't ask for your advice. Look, Nanchan, as much as this sucks for you, can you please think about the rest of us too? Shut up! Think about what Mabuchi and Ogasawara did. They murdered Nodomiya out of pure greed. I know. But I need their help to find my brother. <sighs> Oh, shit. What's up? Uh, this picture. What about it? The guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Ryo Aoki, the governor. That's back when he was younger. And considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? But... He's supposed to be dead. Huh? In Kamrocho. Someone told me he died. I thought it was true. Well, I don't follow. You know Ryo Aoki? Not Aoki. Mm -hmm. I know him as... Sawara. Good news, I hope. I finally found it. The party chair's secret weapon. Turns out it was on the other side of the Great Wall of Muscle this whole time. <laughs> Go figure. If you have any of our visitors from Kansai you can spare, I could use the extra hands. <laughs> That's fine. We're already more than well-staffed in Tokyo. I'm willing to send you all the manpower you'll need. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then, he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly, but now his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. There's a lot of stuff that'd make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah? Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. The 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza laws. The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. Huh? 
You think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. One thing I don't get. How did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. I mean, you can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background, so he could be governor. The public would never accept the politician with Yakuza roots. Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Hold on! Hold the hell on! The young master couldn't walk, he used a wheelchair! The governor can walk! Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the US, right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the US that uh, aren't available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinouchi. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. What? Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, but when was it? Right! I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah, Horino Uchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> Bet that made for a awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Damn. Kamroch is looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Well, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat.